because these people have lost a lot of things. People who leave their families, you know, they leave their religion, they lose everything. So we need to stand behind these brothers and sisters as much as we can because that's the greatest inv investment we can do for, for our beloved Jesus. Gelombang perpindahan agama dari Islam ke Kristen telah menjadi daya tarik tersendiri bagi kaum muda di Iran. Rezim yang sangat dipengaruhi oleh kaum ulama di Iran merasa tertekan dengan perkembangan kekristenan. Sementara, banyak warga Iran mulai jenuh dengan pemaksaan moralisme Islam oleh pemerintah. Inilah yang mendorong kaum muda di negara Iran mencari tahu alternatif dan solusi baru bagi keyakinan mereka dan semakin membuka pintu bagi penyebaran Injil meskipun dengan cara sembunyi-sembunyi. Penguasa Iran sendiri tidak pernah secara resmi mengakui status perubahan agama oleh umat muslim yang memeluk Kristen. Akibatnya, banyak di antara mereka yang mengaku kesulitan mempraktikkan iman mereka dan kerap menemui pembatasan di mana-mana. Pesatnya pertumbuhan Kristen di Iran menyebabkan penguasa negara itu semakin luas melakukan penganiayaan terhadap umat Kristen. The country is run by Islamic, you know, uh, politics. The governments have been very rigid and very harsh in this after the 79 revolution, trying really to establish the value of Islam inside the country. Because people have seen the harshness our religious government inside the country. They have lost their trust and in Islam and in government and many of them are just openly saying we don't want Islam, we don't want, you know, Arabic leader, you know, kind of leadership never matches Iranian history, Iranian culture, you know, we don't want it. So people are uh, frustrated by religion and by religious leader and they are exhausted. Praise God that people are searching for any other way and solution and that has caused people many many of them give their hearts to the Lord we don't know the exact statistic and people say hundreds of thousands and some you know uh, uh, news agents are saying to us more than millions oh my goodness the, I mean uh, Christians were slaughtered there and almost all Protestant churches are closed down by government. Government forced them to close um, their churches and uh, many Christians in, uh, um, are in prison um, because they do not know leaders in Iran. They think that Islam is the only perfect and last religion. Uh, they do not know their religion in the context of the world because we want everything to be clear for us. But that's not the mindset in Islam. In Islam, you, ha you were born inside the frame of Islam. You have to live inside the fr frame of Islam. You have to continue life inside the frame of Islam. And any member of your family gets out of that frame is enemy to Islam, enemy to Islamic world, and is in war with us. We have to kill that person. You know, Christians are forbidden. Christian evangelism is forbidden in Islamic countries. You know, you and I cannot go there to evangelize about Christ, but they cannot stop Christ. Christ penetrates everywhere. He's the wonderful evangelist <laughs> and he's a powerful evangelist. So we need to ask him prayer from him. Go, Lord, break the wall, go and uh, touch the heart through dreams, through visions, through personal touch. You know, that's one thing. That's the less costly thing for us to do, you know, in uh, England and in, in all over the world. And the second thing is really we need to make our voices stronger. It's amazing that 75% of persecution now is about Christianity. And also we need to touch our pockets because these people have lost a lot of things. People who leave their families, you know, they leave their religion, they lose everything. So we need to stand behind these brothers and sisters as much as we can because that's the greatest inv investment we can do for, for our beloved Jesus.